matchup between Dustin the Diamond Poirier and Justin Gaethje. If I ask you who the most exciting man in mixed martial arts is today, I trust the answer just might be Justin Ray Gaethje. Realized a major championship outside the UFC. He has really taken this promotion by storm since signing with the MMA leader a few years ago. I mean, pace, pressure, aggressiveness, just meanness, a mentality that only allows him to pursue victory. Watching him against Edson Barbosa, let's stand some of the strikes that he took to get the This thing hits the canvas too much. I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're gonna go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight we get to watch it inside of an octagon. Oh, collar tie. Lands a big right hand early. Oh, straight right. She's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Oh! oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. Muscle. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. So just over the total strikes. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Gaethje gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh! Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind-up, no tell, just a brutal kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Big punch from the clinch. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Nice job staying busy here in the clinch. Connects with a right. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Effective punch there by Poirier. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Round two straight ahead. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that. Punch. All right, here we go. Round two. Dustin the Diamond Pori. Versus Justin Gaethje. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. All right, so the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent up. Nearly put him up. You can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155. I can't believe he used to fight at featherweight. He looks like he could never have made that weight. He's found his hole at lightweight, and you see the damage he's inflicted with 
one strike. So we pull up the numbers here. 45 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. And a 45% accuracy rate thus far against Justin Gaethje. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Outstanding combination from the all-action Justin Gage. All-action really does define Justin Gage. Oh! Dude's first. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. There by Gage. Huge shots there. Get right here. Oh, oh. Now he's on top of him for the first minute. Oh, both landed. Oh, he got a bad. Back to the feet. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't but... attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. All right, no telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my telestrator? Ready? Ready? Fight! Huge elbow there. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves Oh! Huge right hand! for Justin Gage. Not the most efficient performance, landing with 47% accuracy tonight against Dustin Ford. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. to work within the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. And here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, two seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, Justin the Highlight Gage. Well, there will be no 
shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight.